Hello, YouTube. Greetings from the lazy eyebrow reviewer. And me. Yes, I am joined today by my review partner affiliate, Masco. And what are we reviewing today? We're reviewing Thrust. Yes, Generations Thrust, a season two seeker. Lent to us by Mufi Space Jump. And since he lost his null rays... In the war. We're going to rip them off Thundercracker. So imagine the blue is burgundy and the black is charcoal. Now let's get on with it. Thrust is a modified F-15 Strike Eagle. Same body, different wings. He was accompanied by Dirge and Ramjet, the other two Seekers from Season 2. He was a brave robot. He carried his army general into safety and promptly had his legs amputated to save his life. Who are you talking about? Wait, who are you talking about? Thrust. Oh, <laughs> right, right. I was, I was watching movies last night. Sorry. Okay, then. Anyway, let's compare him to Thundercracker. A season one seeker. And since there aren't enough guns to go around, let's get rid of these ones. Well, he ripped off his guns. Difference number one. Thrust is a conehead. Ha, ah, he's a conehead. Love that movie. Difference number two. Thundercracker has larger wings, whereas Thrust has smaller square wings. Weak. Difference number three. Thundercracker's tail fins fold up and tuck away nicely, whereas Thrust... Kinda just sits there. And that's about it for differences, so let's get Thundercracker out of here for now. It's about time. He's coming back. I don't know, bunnies. Bring me up just to let me down. Thrust articulation is the same, however. Legs are on a ball joint, knees bend about 90 degrees. Head movement, however, is even more limited due to the cockpit glass on back. Boo! Arms move up as well as out, and the elbow bend at 90 degrees. The tail fins can also rotate down. I'm not sure why, as I'd leave them the way they are. That's how it was in the show. But the option is here anyway for those of you that like to be unique. There's no such thing. To transform him, roll his fists in. To justice. Bring his chest down. To justice. Roll his shoulders in. To justice. Then bring his cockpit up. Oh my, if you say just justice one more time. But you just said to justice. <sighs> Anyway, instead of flipping up the nose cone like in Thundercracker, twist his head around. To Shut up! Close his chest. Forever. Shove his legs into his calves and click them together. Flip his feet in, and finally roll his wings back, and replace his guns. Because he lost them earlier, remember? Difference number one. Thrust guns sit farther away from the body than Thundercrackers. <laughs> Crackers? I'm hungry. Difference number two. Thrust has a shorter nose cone. Difference number three. Thrust's face sticks out the bottom like a sore thumb. And there you have it, Thrust. Thrust! You just really like doing that, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. Finally, the only other accessory Thrust comes with are his wing turbines. These can fit in three different places. On top of his wings, under his wings, and as he came packaged, under his tail fins. Tailfins, Oreo tailfins. Shut up! Why are you even here? Because Mom's making me do chores. Do you want to do dishes? Because I certainly don't. Eh, enough said. Anyway, this has been Thrust and Thundercracker. This has been the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer. And me! Yes, and you. Tara! Hey, it's my line. Really? <laughs> no, as if I'd quote a baby show on a daily basis. Heart Attack is not a baby show. You're right. I missed that show. Okay, goodbye, YouTube! Durrell!